Uh, the reason we're here is to help bring some mobility to the people in need of San Lucas Toloman, Guatemala. We've seen the need, uh, been to places where they don't have a way for them to get out to mass, get out to the marketplace and to provide for their family. So we're here to help them with that. The Knights of Columbus Minnesota State Council decided to fund a container of 280 wheelchairs to bring down and to distribute. So the first day we arrived, we went to the hospital to see what we had to work with. Got to the room where they had stored all of the wheelchairs and they were all randomly stored. Holy moly, there's a lot of wheelchairs in here. So we just started, started that by the door and worked our way through it to find the sizes we needed. We had some people waiting, so they watched all the chaos as we were putting together wheelchairs and getting them organized and uh, then started the presentation, one at a time, very special. No. Oh, we look at Oh! Okay. Yeah, smart Yeah! Yay! Yay. Yay. Just like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys going today? It's a great question. It's a, it's a mystery every day. <laughs> so every year, hundreds of, of volunteers come to help out at the mission. It's great for them to see what life is not in the United States. So we're building homes. There's a uh, coffee plantation that they work on. There's a ladies' center. And, and, it, and it's not just giving to these people, but it's working with them. And that's what we're doing today is we made arrangements with the hospital and the clinic here to be the focal point to get the right wheelchair to the right person. So we started out at the clinic giving wheelchairs to the needy that were brought here and then later on in the day we actually went out to some of the house visits and that was where the, the tears started coming. Uh, when you saw a gentleman who had a stroke a number of years ago and his family had no way of getting him around, getting to Mass. He was laying there and we decided we would let him lay because he just did get out of the hospital. He's in a lot of pain from his arthritis. His joints are like huge. And so we were starting to leave and then they asked us to wait a minute because he wanted to show us how grateful he was by getting in the wheelchair and coming out himself and thanking all of us. Y Dios lo guarde, y Dios lo acompañe. Muchas gracias. This is a huge help for her and for her husband. And she hopes God bless you all for all what you're doing. And God keeps you all the time. I love what we're doing because these people here, they need so much, so much help. And there is. There's a great need for not only wheelchairs, but medical care. And they're very, very grateful people. I don't know if it's the first time that this one little girl was in, in a wheelchair or not, but all of a sudden she started to push the wheelchair herself. The eyes just got big, a great big smile on her face, and she was really trying to, to move around, and it was just, it was so rewarding to see that. Are you happy? See? see? The homes were the best way to deliver a wheelchair because it was so personal. So we unloaded the wheelchair, started walking up this path, came to this area that was kind of like a shack. The man just was being helped out by his daughter. He was 80 years old. He had been a hardworking farmer in the fields for years upon years upon years. And his life literally revolved around going from the bed in the bedroom to just outside the door is a little stool. And that's his world. That is where he lives day in and day out. He might be a little bit on the needy side, so that when she's trying to prepare dinner, she's having to run back and help him back and forth, where this way she can wheel him out where she's working and they can be there together. The families take care of their elders here. It was, she knew it was her duty to take care of her father, and she was going to do that. How does that feel? Chicken 
He said other people before say we help you, but he never see the help. So now he is so grateful with you for this wheelchair, and he feels so glad, so grateful, and he thank you so so much to you and God. God bless you. So. <laughs> given to those that can't either help themselves or don't have the means to help themselves it's spreading the gospel like we're we're told to do to be evangelizers it's a wonderful gift that the knights of columbus of minnesota has given to the people here of san lucas Tolomon. i'm blessed to be here giving out these wheelchairs uh, but it's the councils and the gentlemen back in minnesota that you know, giving charity to somebody you can see and get a thank you from is one thing, but to give charity to somebody you'll never meet and never see, that's a whole new new level of, of charity in my mind. And we are put on earth to help one another, and that's the way we should live our lives. Giving to those that have less than what we have. <laughs>